Well, we're just six days away from Thanksgiving, and if you are hosting, you might be thinking about how to make your table stand out. Yeah, I went to Farmington Gardens where they taught me to make a showstopper of a centerpiece, and it is so simple you might be shocked. I know I was. I'm here with Kim, who's going to show us how to make these beautiful centerpieces. The first thing, Kim, that I learned that blew my mind, they're not hollowed out pumpkins. No, they're not. Makes it even easier. It makes it easier and they last forever. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, so what's the first thing we need to do? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some sheet moss on. Okay. And the sheet moss is gonna be your element to keep your succulents still living. So I'm gonna give you okay. some Okay, yes, yours. I love the green. And um, what we'll do is we'll take your glue pen. Okay. And we're going to put the glue onto, let's see. Just glue around the top? Glue around okay. the top. And then place your sheet moss. I mean, this feels like something, as long as they're old enough to manage a glue gun. This is right. something you could do with your kids. Oh, I do it with my grandkids all the time. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. what a fun project. It is. I mean, yeah. imagine a whole table for Thanksgiving of these mini pumpkins yes. at all your place settings and right. to, for your kids to know that they helped with that. I mean, right. that's so, oh, so yes. cool. Okay, and okay. so while I finish this up, what's the next step? So the next step is going, we're gonna put on our succulents. Because we want to keep the succulent growing, yes. take the glue and have it all the way around, but not on the tip of the Okay, the so you don't stem. want it on the very end of the stem. So, I mean, the succulents really are the only living things you want to put on here right. because it's going to be really tricky right. to keep actual fresh flowers right. alive. I love it. Okay. And then we will add the adornments. Oh, great. It's too long. Oh, I'll cut it. It's pokey. That was very that pokey. pokey. That's very pokey. I, I should I have told you. I'm sorry that. about that. So, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I didn't learn my lesson the first Maybe time. We okay. I want yeah, that one, though. Okay. Okay. So put it on now. there. All around it. I am so graceful. <laughs> See, here's the thing, though. If I can do this because I'm not graceful and I'm not super crafty, anybody can anybody do this. Anybody can do anybody it. Anybody can do yes. this. Where do I want the orange? Maybe right here. Yeah. That's still pop of color. What do you do to keep this going? What do you do to keep the succulents alive? They're going to just adhere to okay. the moss, okay? Yep. Um, you can spritz them if you want. Keep okay. Them a little, give them a little water. But when you're done with the um, holiday or right. whatever, or you can actually take the whole thing off, the moss and everything with this, and you could put it in a pot and a dirt, or in the, and it'll continue wow. to grow. Oh my gosh, I love it. Final flower. Yes. Very important. I want something right here. Maybe oh. something vivid. Yes. Oh, that's pretty. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's so cute. It's, it's so cute. cute. It is. Just like that, a beautiful, simple, and really natural right. looking yeah. centerpiece yeah. for your Thanksgiving table. Yeah. I love and, it. And how much fun? How much fun. Thank you so much, Kim. Oh, thank you. I have a new skill. Yes. Okay, I have so much to say about this. Okay. First of all, Shauna is not crafty, I will tell you. Mm -hmm. And if she can do it, you can do it. No, truly. <laughs> yes. And I, she says that all the time. Oh, yeah. I think it's so fantastic. So do you go to a craft store, get the moss? Yeah. Do you get, I mean, yep. or can you just get it at your local No, you plant can get shop? it at Farmington Gardens. You okay. can get it at any craft store. You could dry flowers Okay, look at how pretty own. that is. I mean. And you know what I love too is a lot of people, you know, might have these pretty gourds, you know, yes. just decorating their front porch or something. They're fairly inexpensive, you know, you can just still get yep. them in stores. That is fantastic. And you I did think a great that job. You thought, like I thought when we'd see pictures of this, out. you hollow it out. It's a whole ordeal. Yeah. It isn't. I mean, this is just wonderful. And again, the fact that you can keep these succulents alive and transfer it to a pot. Anyway, I was thrilled. I, I was so excited. You know how excited I was about this. It is and fantastic. It's a quick you know what I see? Simple. I see some some people in the audience probably watching now and saying, "Oh, girls' weekend. This Let's weekend. do it this weekend." Yeah. Or yeah. with your kids, if they can handle a glue gun, you guys, it's great. And you know what? Farmington Gardens teaches all kinds of great classes. I mean, holiday classes yeah. are coming up all year long. Wreaths, uh, you know, bouquets, so fun. all everything. So if you'd like more information about the types of classes they offer, and they actually printed up some instructions. So I put those. Uh, we're going to put those up on the website coming up a little bit later this morning. So go to our website, kptv.com, and you can see it all. You know what You know what would be fun is the, the tiny gourds that they yeah, have, and yeah. you can do them as place settings. The kids can do those as place That's settings. Yeah, Good stuff. So I love it, Shauna. So Thank good. Thank you. Happy crafting, yeah. everybody. Okay.